Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat, and I in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the Gaussian blur and the right perfect Gaussian blur for your images in Photoshop. So, if I told you I've had issues regarding not retaining skin details or skin textures in your images every single time you're using frequency separation as a retouching technique, this is the best video for you. So, simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe. So. In this, I'm just going to be using the actions because I don't want the tutorial to be a long one. And if I told you are interested in getting actions, you can get them anywhere online or you can even support this channel by purchasing my skin retouching actions. So I'm just going to come to window and come to actions right here. So you can say this is an 8-bit image. So I'll come to the actions and simply select the 8-bit frequency separation action and simply play it. So what you have to understand is when you're determining the amount of Gaussian blur for your image, you have to understand that the lower the Gaussian blur, the more plastic or the more smooth the image is going to be and the higher the Gaussian blur, the more textures you're going to be remaining with in your image. So let me first of all demonstrate that for you and I'll be showing you the perfect way to retain skin details. So I'm just going to use a random radius which is very low of around 3.4 and hit OK and the action is going to play. So when I come and I delete this, so when I come and I turn this off and I simply get my mixer brush tool, so it is a mixer brush tool and I simply set it hardness 0 and clean brush and clean brush after each and this stroke is selected right here and with the weight of 9 load 75 mix at 90 and flat 100%. I make sure sample all is not turned on. So when I come and I start painting on the image, for example, on the forehead area, you can see that it is going to be working. You can see it is going to be working, but it's going to make the image very smooth regarding the skin details or the skin textures. So for this, we have used a very low radius for the Gaussian blur. Like I've explained, a low radius is going to make your skin very very smooth and have very little or no details so you can see i've worked on the forehead area and when i come and i turn on the texture layer just look at how smooth this has gotten to be so this is the before after before after we have lost out most of the details and this doesn't look nice and really realistic you can see before and after but on the other hand let me first of all show you what a higher Gaussian blur radius is going to be affecting or how it is going to be affecting this very image. So when I come to the action and I simply play it and I choose a higher Gaussian blur radius of around 12 pixels and I hit OK and I'm just going to delete this briefly and I turn this off and I get the mixer brush tool and I do the same process or the same step. So if at all I come and I paint once again, it is going to be showing me the same results like we had initially before. But after or when you turn on the texture layer, you're going to be seeing the difference. So let me just first of all paint on the forehead area just like that. Reduce on the size and also come and paint. So I've painted or oh, I've mixed the skin tones. So like I said, a higher Gaussian blur is going to retain more skin details in your images. So when I come and I turn on the high frequency or texture layer, just look at how, my, how many details or how much of the details we are retaining in the skin area. So you can see the before and after. And this is very real, realistic and the skin looks natural. But we have blended uh, the skin tones and retained the natural and realistic skin textures. So, here is what you have to do when it comes to applying the right amount of Gaussian blood to your images to have the best details or the most natural and highly realistic skin details. So, when you come and you apply your frequency separation by playing the action, it usually stops at this point whereby you have to determine the amount of Gaussian blur to you apply on your image. So, the right Gaussian blur for your image 
how to determine that simply always come and you look for an area so you can use this box icon and you click on what you feel is that area that has more skin details or prominent skin details so when you select that area and you make sure it is displaying here so you can zoom in or zoom out by using these arrows so i'm just going to leave it at 67 percent so always take the radius all the way down and the best way to determine your gaussian blur for the image that you are editing at that given time always come to the radius right there and simply left click and hold down and start dragging up the radius so you drag up as you're looking at the details right here and also right there so left click and drag as you're analyzing on this box and also on the image so you left click and drag so you left click drag and release to see the effect to be applied on the image so just come left click and drag left click and drag left click and drag so the best way is to stop at the point whereby you are just starting to lose out on the skin details so at around 10 that is when i'm just starting to lose out on the skin details so this is going to be a sweet spot so the details you lose out on this very step remember we have stopped at the point whereby we had just started to lose out on the details we have not lost them out completely stop at the point whereby you can notice where the blemishes are but they are not in focus we have not taken the pixels all the way up so we have gradually taken up the slider up the point whereby the skin details have just started the keyword here is stop at the point where by the skin textures are just starting to disappear and simply hit ok so after doing that just come and select the this layer i'm just going to delete this simply hide this and select the low frequency layer and you get your mixer brush tool and set it the right way so make sure it is soft round brush hardness at zero make sure clean brush is selected and the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke is selected right here then weight is nine percent load 75 mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent make sure sample all layers is not turned on so when we come and we start mixing so to mix you simply left click and hold down and you mix a given color just like that and come and mix these shadow colors just like that and increase on the size if at all you're working on a bigger area and where, where these colors are transitioning from one color to another you have to mix that area to create a harmonious transition between those colors so i'll just mix and blend so just look at the forehead area so right now we are only focusing on the forehead area so after mixing i'm just going to turn this on and you can see this is the before after before after the skin details or the skin textures have been left intact in this very image let me zoom in slightly look at the before after before after we have only worked on the skin tones and the textures have been left very intact so the most important step is always determine and take your time while you are determining the amount or the right gaussian blur to apply to the image if at all you don't want to end up with a plastic image remember a very low number of the gaussian blur is going to, to produce a very smooth skin with less skin textures or skin details and a very high radius is going to leave you with more skin textures so always have always you have to look for and you locate a sweet spot between a low radius and a very high radius by slightly moving the gaussian blur as you analyze the textures as i have illustrated for you in this very video so this is it for this video and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you yet more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating